Hi, this video is about Oracle Analytics Cloud Data Visualization. We start here at the home page where we can use natural language to simply type the question that we're looking for and have the results automatically generated. The charts are immediately interactive and you can switch chart types. You can select on various items, keep selected, remove selected, or even drill on various items. We can move from that point directly into a main workbook where we can add and continue our investigation by adding more attributes and metrics as we decide. By using multi-select from the left-hand side, we can pick a measure and some dimensions, and we can then just drag and drop the items onto the canvas. Finding the green bars will show us where we are able to drag and drop those um, new visualizations. Adding a forecast is as easy as going to advanced analytics and dropping forecasts on the visual you choose. Here we have three uh, periods of forecast automatically generated, easily changed to six by changing the number and hitting enter. We now have six forecast periods. We can actually create new chart types just by selecting again the different metrics and attributes we like and by dragging it dropping onto the canvas it will automatically choose the best chart type for the information we've selected. We can override the different chart types and we can then interactively start to build our stories with a drag drop no code interface moving objects around and resizing them is as easy as drag and drop on the canvas directly. We can even now consider other kind of chart types. By duplicating this visualization, I'm now gonna change a chart type to a natural language generated narrative. We have multiple languages available, and you can even from the settings choose the verbosity of your description, turning it down with a slider or turning it up to what makes sense for your use case. Because the natural language object is no different from any of the other chart objects, as the data changes, your natural language narrative will also update. We're now gonna look at a filter. So I simply drag and drop year onto the filter bar and you can see you can automatically choose the years as was valid in the data set. Filters can be set on the entire canvas or on each individual visualization. We can even use a visualization as a filter like this pie chart, which is now a filter. As you click on the different segments, the other visualizations on the canvas are automatically updated based on that selection. But what if you're working with a brand new data set where you didn't understand all the metrics and know what to drag and drop? Well, we're going to start with a blank canvas and use Auto Insights, which has automatically looked at the data set and created these visualizations using the metrics and attributes. You simply need to scroll through and select which are the most interesting to you to start your story. As you switch back to the dashboard, you can now resize and rearrange and you have an accelerated start to creating your story dashboard.